Are you aware that the greatest enemy we created ourselves and imprisoned essentially? All that was great in life and on earth, the madness began a few cycles before birth. From the very moment of your conception, attribution began. Without exception, it grabs you with its spindly hands, waiting and watching you under its command. The enemy creeps incrementally and silent. It can offer you comfort and is never seen as violent. Slipping into your life without cause or question. Invisible, measurable, a rhythmic progression. Of course, the enemy of which I speak is time and its grasp on the answers we seek is running out fast. It's as old as itself. It's a human construct and we're destroying ourselves. See, if I go to sleep when the sun has just set, every single morning I'll awake feeling I've slept. It might still be dark, but the circadian rhythm comes naturally to me and I'm free from time's prison. The sun, the moon, the stars and the sky tell you all that you need to survive and comply with life's commitments, all the things you must do. You'll find so much easier without time's hullabaloo. Do this by then. Be here on the dot. What is this life? It seems nature we forgot. In the days before watches we turn to the sun, it doesn't have a ringtone, it never ruined any fun. I've not got time, be quick, we've only got seconds. You're 15 minutes late, that's a mark on your record. You're paid by the hour, not for the work that you've done. There's an allocated period for you to eat and have fun. He's not got much time left. You're telling me he's still alive? The depressive connotations that time serves only deprives us as living our lives free of pressure and guilt. We're trapped in a prison and it's one that we built. Seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks and months, years, decades, centuries. How big is this cult? Imagine a life where you didn't need to care about a solid seven hours sleep because a rhythm is there. You feel tired, go to sleep, wake up fresh as a daisy. Every night, the same time, no morning should phase me. If you're in tune with the rhythm that the universe provides, you can dispose of your watch and live a much freer life. The forests and oceans, deserts and fields are teeming with life and it seems quite ideal. There was only ever one rabbit who was ruled by time. He was anxious and on edge like he'd committed a crime. A resounding message that's been given to folk who connect with the universe through mediums invoked by hallucinogens offered up from the ground is that time doesn't exist. We need to check its background. Apparently, it lives in a town called Greenwich. I'll meet you down there, but don't dare say for tenish. Arriving purely by chance as the universe is at play, stopping time forever and reversing its ways. Let's crash the system on the job back to Mother Nature. She's the only one who should provide legislature. The rules of nature are simple and fair. Was it designed? Does it matter? But let's allow it our welfare. Trust in the system, not the one devised by crooks. The one that's your birthright. It's not found in textbooks. It speaks to your soul through gut instinct and tells whether you should cross a bridge, open doors, say farewells. There are no real answers to what's wrong or what's right or the reasons we're here, but I'll take up one fight. That's the number one enemy, is the time and its ticks, as it makes us believe that we all live with limits.